Interesting. Merch is so good in Stray. I almost feel like keeping it. Um, I don't want to do this. I want to snowball a, a Flame Waker. I think I can mull like with this kind of deck. I don't think I want to keep Yeti even with a coin to coin out Yeti on three because you want to save your coin for Flame Waker anyways, kind of. And you okay? So this is perfect. The Mech Yeti over Shredders. This deck is really combo based. Um, I don't like you're cutting a lot of the big drops for Tempo Mage, like Rag and Sylvanas using Emperor. It's like all based on the Flame Waker synergy and um, Archmage. Do I even coin out Flame Waker actually? On turn four, there's a swipe, but. Nah, maybe I should have saved it actually. This card is really important to get activations off. You should almost never play Flame Worker if you're not going to get activations off. And I've used my coin for that, so. But that doesn't do anything with two images, kind of. I mean, with Force of Nature you can kind of get through, but... I mean, even that doesn't look so good from... Like, two of these screens are going into the mirror images. I'd rather have Frostball at this point for Burn. Also, Dr. Boom is kind of likely, and Flame Cannon is really bad against Dr. Boom. It is better against Sludge Belcher by a lot. Druid Claw, it, I can't kill anyways with Flame Cannon. Oh, that's interesting, because I don't have to play the Juggler this turn. Um, I think I should, though. Like, I can combo with Dr. Boom to get three pings instead of one ping here, but then I'm not having the Juggler, and like, I don't know, what can you do? Let's see. Let's think about some stuff like Wrath, or Swipe. So swipe the Yeti, trade this into Yeti, here power, or here power Yeti. Swipe Wrath would clear. Not sure. Savage or Force of Nature. Force of Nature. I think I should play it. Because I already have a 5 2, so it's like if he just wants to trade the slime into it plus like a hero power or something, there's already a 5 2 to kill, so you can only kill one of them with that move. It's really Swipe that I'm kind of worried about, but it doesn't seem like Swipe by itself does all that great either. XR3 Asen X. Thanks for subbing. Welcome to the Strife Crew. Crowfist. It's like the juggler dying is not a big deal as long as like like it's say he can only kill X amount of minions, right? If the juggler dies and this arrives, it's definitely worth it. It's it's like it's really only um if like it gets AoE down, for example, that's like not very good, but like my biggest fear is not like the juggler dying. It's like if it dies for free, basically. Plus I got one ping anyways. It's only gonna be two more pings with the Dr. Boom. Although my ping was kinda useless this turn. I think face is better for me than trading. Let me think about it for a second. Actually, it's probably not. Trading is probably better because um, swipe BGH. BGH plus swipe is what I'm worried about. And this absorbs a lot of boom bots. It's probably around the same. 
Four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, Flame Waker. Flame Waker Frostbolt. I serve the Fire Lord. Actually, I didn't think about this, but if I suicide Yeti, I get a free spare part and I can play it for free. Probably not worth it, but something that I could have thought about more. I wonder if I could have got lethal, actually. Probably not. <laughs> Show is same mark. No, I don't think so. I haven't seen... Sh <laughs> well, no. Let's just... Whatever. Okay, let's do this. Five, eight. So I only need one ping to kill him. Actually, there's no way he could survive because the ancient lord couldn't absorb anymore. Why don't I play Dragon Warrior anymore? I think uh, Control Warrior is better than Dragon Warrior. Uh, it does seem like. The difference is like five or six cards, but you can, it's just uh, I don't I don't I don't think it's worth it to play Dragon against this. Like even though I have a good curve, I think it's too important for me to be able to guarantee or remove his Sorcerer Apprentice and Flame Waker. Like you can't just drop minions against Tempo Mage. You have to kill their minions. Like it, that's what they want you to drop minions against against their uh, strong openings. I'm gonna save this. I'm not sure overall, like Dragon Warrior vs. Control or which matchups is better or worse, for example, but it seems like a little bit inconsistent and uh, I don't think it's worth it overall because you're. What are you really gaining? Two Blackwing Corruptors, right? That's about all. And you only have like three dragons. Well, that's a good one. I haven't seen Malagos Warlock. I think it's really good against slower decks. Uh, against like Hunter and stuff, it's just like 100% loss. Because it's like a... At that point, you're just playing... What are you playing? You're just playing a deck with with no Moltens. So it's like the same thing as Hanlock, except with no Moltens. Like, you have no chance of beating really aggressive decks, I think. I think I can kill his Flame Waker anyways, let's see. I should be able to. Well, actually, it's not even that likely I kill the Flame Waker. I need two pings all to hit. I'm not sure if I can just do nothing, though. I serve the Fire Lord. I serve the Fire Lord. Oh yeah, something I didn't take into account is, um... It's actually, this is a better move than I originally thought, because the mirror images should be able to absorb them as these things anyways. Not perfect. So like, even if he has a lot of spells, it's kind of more like it just blows me out, because I have these to absorb the arcane missiles. I'm okay. It's just a cold sore. Not a big deal. He needs... I don't know, how can he kill this Flame Waker? Frostbolt doesn't kill it. Flame Cannon is random. Okay. I need to cast spells for sure. Uh, I don't want this absorbing the... Arcane Missiles. I'll probably be able to kill it. It's 
kind of unfortunate, but I, I mean, that yeah, was bad. Because I could have kept my 1 2 alive. It's actually a lot more useful after the 1 2. Probably is a mirror image. Let's attack this actually. And go face with this guy. I don't want him to get in range of the hero power. And, um, like, I don't care about the mirror image that much. It's like, I'm not using this to protect the image, it's the other way around. So, it's like I don't care about it, but that's just like, that's the use of mirror image. That's what I'm using it for to protect my minions. And I can get this trade much better for me. So I know his uh, thing is probably going to be a counterspell. I wonder if that actually procs with counterspell. It actually does. From what I know it does. I want to get out the mirror image before drawing a card. Let's see what- I'm going to test that. I would still play it anyways. Oh, it doesn't. But I think this is actually worth more um, than the Frostbolt here because we're running out of cards. So I think I'm using the Carousel to bait, like the Frostbolt to bait it out. I didn't prioritize Emperor as Drake because like, my hand is so small at that point. I have like one, two cards realistically. So I don't think I'm getting a lot of value from Emperor anyways. Okay, I got pretty lucky there. I think I can kill a war until. Oh, that makes it easy for me. Um, ban handlock. I think it's because um, I, I think life coach. I was banning Warrior, but I don't know. It seemed like he wasn't as proficient with Warrior as Handlock, so. Alright, this is actually an interesting matchup. I think this is really skill based. Um, pretty easy mulligan, although it makes a lot of sense to uh, flood the board around turn 4. I mean, not around turn 4, it's like basically play two mains in the same turn, so you play around Fire War Axe. I never, like, I was just like yellow, I hopefully don't have it, but I think it might be better to try to play, like, don't play early drops. I'm gonna just mulling everything. The mad sign's still good, and also trying to get mirror image is so good. Because once you have mirror image, then it's so easy to beat warrior, probably. Two mirror images. Hello. I'm still gonna play the clockwork, I think. It's not that weak to fire war axe, and I have flame cannon to stop armor smith and acolytes. I actually feel okay about just pinging this over two turns. I don't want to play Flame Worker anyways on turn three. Armor made to fit. This is when Shredder is a lot better. At least I can play it and cycle uh, the death rattle. Kind of good for me still.
Okay, it's not two minutes together, it's really important. I'm kind of armor playing this guy so it doesn't die to death spite. Got a 420 donation from Weed. Hey Strife Crow, listen, I'm blazed again. I just want to say the sound your mouse makes when you scroll the is amazing. Good luck on the grind. Well, thanks for the donation, Weed. My mask is pretty cool. Okay, so I don't have to frost his face to freeze for weapons, because there's no way he would shield slam and not and do this if he had a weapon. I don't think he has a weapon. So I'm just gonna AI flame cannon. I really need Emperor. Nope. I would have such a sick hand with Emperor here. I don't want to just suicide my Sorcerer Apprentice into the thing. I don't mind if this dies, because we get the secret out. Hopefully he doesn't have another weapon. I knew- I think he top decked that one where I had the read. I think he played it from the right. So- I, and I don't think he had one before that, so he would have to have top deck like two weapons in two turns, or three- two weapons in three turns. Kind of unlikely. Um, and it feels weird just Frostal face to freeze weapon. Hopefully my Sorcerer Apprentice survives, that'd be so big for me. Oh, it's actually a pretty good one for me to mirror image- mirror entity. I've got the beast in my side. The cards are so important in this matchup. Is he gonna execute it? Yeah, execute it. Oh, no, no, no. He didn't want me to get the troll. That makes sense. I'm so far ahead to play around Brawl. So I get to, like, I would be kind of scared if I went too weak to, like, Alex or something, but I do have a mirror entity down, so that, like, prevents any shenanigans. So I played Archmage, I couldn't play um, that one. Maybe it made more sense to save a Frostbolt and trade Sorcerer in. But I do want to play around Brawl. If I went Archmage dull, double Frostbolt, um, after the Brawl, I'd still not have Archmage, so... And this way, after your balls, I still have Archmage. He made a strong enough move. I'm not sure. I still think I probably have to play Archmage this turn. I want to ping my guy for sure. Alright, I guess I'm not going to ping my guy. Feels really bad to um, get this brawl down because I ran near the card. But then if I don't play a spell, I don't get the fireball. So it's like kind of close. <laughs> I didn't play the ghoul. I don't know if that's a mistake. It seems bad for me to play the ghoul. But. Tw 
12, 13, 14, uh, 10, 24 damage. 12, 13, 14 plus 10. Well played. Well, this is kind of the dream hand. I think I, I think mirror image is, I don't know, without a coin, maybe this is better. I still feel like I really want a mirror image because, like this hand, while it's good against like a lot of minions, it's still not very good against coin egg into like power rolling or abusive. Like I can't really stop that. If you coin it's out an egg, I can't really do anything to it. Kind of flame cannon? No, I couldn't. I'm not sure which one's better. One thing is uh, if he plays Egg, I can attack and Flame Cannon though. Whereas it can't Frostbolt. Okay, yeah, that's Flame Cannonable as well. I can't really drop Flame Waker and just ignore it, because he can abusive and trade if I kill my guy for free and things like that. At least I've got his coin, but he kind of ruined my mana curve as well. Let's do this, just go face. I don't think there's a way he can like snowball the Darwolf where he doesn't trade, like it's good for him. I'm scared of Implosion, like that's why I didn't really fireball this and go face, because Implosion. Oh no, that's not my secret. Um, I'm gonna save Flame Waker. I need to kill that. Starting too much damage. Fart God 420, thanks for subbing. Welcome to the Strife Crew. Crowfist. I think he knew his mirror image and he forced himself to get the juggler on purpose. I'm not know like I can't really activate the egg, but egg's still annoying for him for like his jugglers. And he can kill the thing really easily, so not sure. He's actually at 17. That's uh, interesting. Most of the damage is from Flame Imps, I think. Well, at least six of the damage is from Flame Imps. I'm not, I'm not sure that's most of it, but... So... I have another Fireball in my deck that's 12. I'm pretty much in YOLO mode at this point. With that draw, though, I think I'm, I should still go for War Control. Nah, I'm just gonna use this Flame Imp as like a nothing. So I still think my best chance to win is not try to burn him out, but try to protect Archmage for one turn. And that means I don't want to proc the Renewer me and Neg, because that'll do 4 damage. Oh, nice, I baited that out. That's good. I mean, he thought that I was going to ping it, but I just wanted to more of a day as a bait. It looks like he's still going to get through. That's unfortunate. 2, 4. Yeah, he can kill my Archmage still. So I have like another option, which is Fireball this Stalker Boom, and then uh, try to go for next turn. If he just plays more than 7 power again, it'll, it won't pay off. Otherwise, I can just go Archmage, Mirror Image, and I'll have 2 Fireballs for 12 damage. I need to do 5 more damage, but no more Fireballs in my hand. I need a top deck like the Frostbolt. Mm. It's still not enough. And the, basically, there's no way I'm getting a minion damage if I do that play, because he's going to crush me on board after that. There's no way my, any other minion will ever survive a turn to get in minion damage. Uh, I think this just gives me a better chance of winning. If he doesn't play more than like 7 power to replace that to kill my Archmage, uh, 
He needs like six power here to kill my Archmage. Put this apple on your head. Get in there and fight, maggot. All right. I think he's dead. You require my assistance. Uh -huh. 